Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to share Google Calendar. Like for example, if you're using G Suite account or a normal Google account, you can share your calendar with your colleagues or uh, the family or whatever. Um, you can just choose their email address and they will be able to access your calendar and you can also uh, let them, you can also give them permission to enter the information in calendar, your calendar. So let's see how we can do that one. So first of all, we'll have to go to the Google Calendar. So you can either just Google it, uh, and just you can search Google Calendar, then you can get google.com slash calendar, or you can also go from here and find the calendar. All right, both will give you the same result. So right now you can see here, uh, I have already one calendar, which is on my name. This is, this is my, my main calendar. So what you can do here, you can just choose the calendar which you want to share. For example, I want to share this one. Click on the three dots here. Just uh, let me uh, zoom this one for you so that it will be easy for you. So you just click on the three dots which is right down, uh, right side of the calendar and click on the settings and sharing. So it will give a new window. So here you can name your calendar. So I'll just give um, my name, that's it. And here you have an option to make it available to public, which means everyone will be able to access your calendar. So um, even using Google search, people will be able to find your calendar details. Uh, nobody will make that one, but if you want, you can make it. And you can also get shareable link for sharing your calendar. Uh, but what we are concerned today is adding some specific people who can access your calendar. So you can click on add people and here you can give the name, give the email address, uh, it will list you the per contact person which you have um, contacted by email last time or you can manually put the email address here and at the right whatever email you want to give and after that you just need to specify the permission like uh, you can they can see only busy or free so they can understand whether you are free on that time or busy they will not see what is the details or see all event details they can see all the event details or make changes to events so uh, if you give this permission even if you put something on calendar the manager or whatever person you give permission they can change the events they can add um, to your calendar and you, they can if you give this permission make the last op option make changes and manage sharing so that they will be able to change your um, events as well as share with another other, uh, another people so like for example if you share a calendar with your manager this manager will be able to uh, share the calendar with anyone like subordinates or HR or whatever person he can share but if you give this permission he can assign all the task on your calendar but he cannot share your calendar without your permission to someone else so usually you can go with this option and after that you click just click on send then uh, it will automatically save the settings so this particular email should be able to access your calendar and should be able to put the entries on your calendar all right this is how it works and anytime you can remove them and also you can change the permission here all right like for example i just i just don't want to uh, put anything on my calendar or change any events so i can just give them free and busy time all right uh, i hope this video was really helpful to you thank you for watching subscribe to the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye